Ngayon naman, isa sa mga applications ng uh, definite integrals ay ang pagkuha ng average value ng isang function. Sa pagkuha ng average value ng isang function, mayroon tayong formula na sinusunod. At ito yung formula na gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng average function using definite integrals. So yung f average will be equal to 1 all over b minus a of the integral of f of x dx from a through B. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin ngayon kapag hinahanapan tayo or dun sa ilang mga problem sa calculus ay eh kailangan natin magkuha or kunin yung average ng function. Now, sa example na ito, let's find the average value of the function given by f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 2x on the interval 1 and 4. Now, once again, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin ngayon, yung formula ng pagkuha ng average ng function at gagamitin natin to para sa problem or sa example number 1. So, ang f average is given by this formula. So, direct substitution lang. So, it's equal to 1 all over 4 minus a, which is b and a, of the integral ng function nyo na given, which is 3x squared minus 2x dx from 1 to 4. Now, from here, simplify nyo na lang yung function nyo by Finding the definite integral of 3x squared minus 2x from 1 to 4. And it will give you 1 all over 3 times the integral. And the integral ng function will be x cubed minus x from 1 to 4. So, ang gagawin na lang natin is to evaluate this function which will give us 48 multiplied by 1 third which is equal to 16. So, ang average ng value ng function na f of x from the interval 1 to 4 is equal to 16. At yan yung isa sa mga applications ng formula natin para sa pagkuha ng average function using definite integral. Now, for this example, we need to find c or constant c such that the f average is equal to f of c. Nang given function a f of x is equal to 4 minus x squared on the closed interval 0 and 2. Now, once again, gagamitin ulit natin yung formula na inintroduce ko kanina. So, yung f average daw is equal to f of c. So, therefore, yung ating f of c, e pwede nating i-replace dun sa formula nung f average, which is 1 all over b a times the integral of f of x dx from a through b. So, ngayon, yung f of c natin, na ginamit natin kanina as f average, can be equated to the formula. Now, since hinahanap natin si f of c, kailangan natin makuha yung function na f of c mula dun sa f of x is equal to 4 minus x squared. At yun yung una natin gagawin. Since sa given pro problem, f of x is equal to 4 minus x squared, therefore, ang f of c nyo is equal to 4 minus c squared. So, sinubstitute lang natin yung value ng c dun sa ating functions para makakuha tayo ng function na f of c na gagamitin natin sa formula later on. Now, once again, dun sa formula natin na f of c is equal to the f average formula, by direct substitution, yung f of c natin is equal to 1 all over 2 minus 0 from the integral 4 minus x squared dx from 0 to 2. Ang alam natin, kanina, ng f of c ay equal to 4 minus c squared. So, pwede natin i-replace si f of c ng 4 minus c squared para makuha natin or masolve natin yung value ng c later on. Now, to evaluate 1 half times the integral of 4 minus x squared dx from 0 to 2, evaluate nyo lang siya using definite integral and you'll have 4x minus x cubed all over 3 from 0 to 2 which will give you 16 over 3 multiplied by 1 half Ngayon, meron na tayong 4 minus c squared is equal to 8 over 3. Now, since dun sa example na ito, kailangan natin hanapin si c, all we need to do is to use our algebra skill in finding the value of c. So, 4 minus c squared equal to 8 over 3. Um, get rid of 4 by subtracting 4 on both sides and you'll have negative c squared is equal to 8 all over 3 minus 4, which gives you c squared is equal to negative 8. 8 over 3 plus 4 kasi kailangan natin tanggalin yung negative value ng c squared. So, c squared is equal to 4 over 3 and getting rid of the exponent 2 by taking the square root of both sides and we'll have c is equal to the plus or minus the square root of 4 over 3. At yan yung value ng c na hinahanap natin dito sa example number 2 using yung f average.